Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and Happy New Year! I hope you're all doing well. Judy wanted to start off the new year with you all, just in case she never feels like filming another video ever again in 2024. She's here at the start of the new year for my first video back in 2024. Um, so say hello, enjoy her, and anytime that she's not here, Trust that you can still keep up with her on Instagram, both on her Instagram, but also mine. I posted a lot of her on my stories, if you ever are wondering what she's up to. And trust that Poe is also doing fine, even though he's not in the chair today. Anyways, today, our first video back of the new year is gonna be reacting to Amber Lynn's new video of the new year. I can't wait to watch it. There's a lot of questions I have. One, I imagine my prediction, my thought, my hypothesis is that she's just gonna continue to not address any more of the Casey stuff. I think what she said in her last video is as much as we're gonna get of it, so I doubt she will bring it up again. I'm guessing she's going to shift the narrative to like, here are all my goals and weight loss plans for 2024. That was the thought in my mind. So I was like, I want to go back and see where we were at least the past two years. Can you believe 2023 was the year that she was going through all the weight loss surgery stuff and trying to get weight loss surgery and then nothing came of that? That started at the beginning of January 2023. I went back and looked at both my videos and hers and that's how she started 2023 was trying to get this weight loss surgery and it's wild that we are fully not even in Kentucky anymore. We're in Oklahoma for the past few months. She hasn't even thought about, talked about, addressed the concept of weight loss and so I just, I'm just baffled. And then the year before that she was doing like 100 days of weighing in. Okay, that's what she was doing in 2022. So not a lot of growth and change in, in what's happened. I'm curious how her goals for 2024 and I'm saying goals for 2024 because that's like fully in the title of this video, okay? I'm just curious what, what is going to happen here because honestly, truly, it feels like the perfect, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pivot. It feels like the perfect pivot away from the Casey stuff for her to just start talking about her weight loss again, considering that it's the new year. I think she also got lucky with a lot of the Casey stuff because people in this community we're ready to, to move past and move on to the drama happening with Foodie Beauty and her husband's poo poo pee pee fantasies. And so a lot of people move very quickly onto that. So I'm, I'm just curious. I'm curious about a new year, new Amberlynn. I mean, and by new Amberlynn, I mean probably the same Amberlynn just in Oklahoma this year. So um, let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Hey friends, every once in a while when I record the videos through screen recording as a part of my reaction, it does a thing where it like drops frames and so the, the video is not smooth as you'll probably notice. Amber Lynn's video specifically, my video is fine. Um, so I don't know what that's about. Somebody once suggested that it might be something with like memory on my computer, but like I don't actually have a lot of stuff taking up space on the computer that I screen record on. So I don't know if people have thoughts about that, please let me know. And I'm so sorry if it distracts from your viewing pleasure. Um, I'm going to try to figure it out before we do another reaction video like this. But uh, thanks for your patience and enjoy the video. I will say I forgot to read the title. So let me do that for you. We got to get the first bar of the new year in here today, baby. Uh, the video is called My Goals for 2024 a birthday surprise, and Target Haul Bar Vlog. I don't know why I put so much emphasis on Target Haul. I think it was the two exclamation points in the title, but it felt important. It felt special. It felt like it needed to be done. I did what needed to be done, okay? Uh, so let's just actually get to get to now, shall we? Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, vlog. So today is my... 33rd birthday. Let's go! 33. Also, for context, her 33rd birthday was on uh, December 27th, and that was while there was still plenty of stuff surrounding the Casey stuff going on. There was still plenty of chatter. The Chantal news had not quite yet broken. I am curious how this impacted her birthday. And that just seems like a really good number 
threes are very, very important in my family. So also, I'm so good. I don't, know, I don't know about threes being important to her family, but this is the way my brain works. I also just remembered that somebody, and listen, the whole TikTok is entirely just a Nicki Minaj song, so I'm sure that I could not play that music in this video whatsoever, but uh, she posted a new TikTok, and can y'all believe, and I took a screenshot, and I'm going to show you the screenshot because I think this is important, because I've been saying that her TikToks would blow the fuck up. Up if she would just let people comment on them because so much about videos going viral on TikTok is related to the TikTok's algorithm essentially which takes into account how many comments a video gets, how many people share a video, how many likes a video gets. Like TikTok cares so much about that when it comes to like spitting that stuff out into people's for you pages. And she finally opened up the comments and this girly has so many views on her TikTok, besties. And so many, significantly more, like at least 40 to 50,000 more views on her videos on TikTok than any of her other ones. And I'm like, all you had to do was open up, which I get. She always said that the reason she wasn't opening up the comments was because she wanted that to be a place of peace for her. But I'm like, girl, in 2024, you gotta keep building this brand. Cause listen, you got a lot of shit to overcome. You, If you wanna continue to have this career that has afforded you so much by doing so little, you're gonna have to try a little bit more as we keep going into the new year. <laughs> so anyways, you can now comment on, on her video. Videos. I will say so many of the comments were things like, y'all don't mess this up for us. Don't ruin this for us. Don't get the comments taken away. So be careful and be thoughtful. All right. Don't ruin it for everybody, but they are open. What about the year coming up? So right now I'm wearing my hair like this. Oh, we have some yellow. Hoops. It's, it's kind of giving a little bit of baby spice. The little pigtails. Okay. I'm currently listening to a podcast the H3 podcast. I am <laughs> one of their podcasts behind because I just, I'm behind on like other people's vlog mess. Like vlog mess is over for most uh -huh. people. Some people go to like just day 25. I'm still on people's like day eight. Okay. So I'm just behind on all I, of YouTube. I, I'm obsessed with this concept of like, of her feel <laughs> feeling like she has to be caught up on everybody's Vlogmas with like so many people that I've seen that do Vlogmas, like if you miss a day, it's honestly not the end of the world. It's like literally people, it's not like a storyline, right? Like if you you miss a day. I, I guess the only person this year that I really even paid attention to that had a Vlogmas was Candy Fox. And that's just because I personally really enjoy her as a human. I've talked with her in DMs and things like that before. And honestly, truly, I've not watched every single one of her vlogmases, and that's mostly because, like, a lot of times it's just, like, her doing a Christmas craft. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna miss miss something if I just miss her doing a Christmas craft. It's not gonna be the end of the world. It's not like watching your favorite TV show. Although, I will say, I often do compare watching Amber Lynn to, like, a TV show, and I feel like I would if she had done vlogmas. I would have at a minimum at least watched every video. I might not have done a video here about every video. So you know what? Maybe maybe I, I feel that. Maybe I feel that. Maybe it's relatable. Relatable content. All the YouTube. But today I'm wearing my oh, rainbow stripe dress, okay. which I love so much. Yes, um, gay. I'm be spending the day with my mom a little bit later. And then I think Saturday is when I'm really gonna like celebrate my birthday. I'm not really sure to, what I'm gonna do. Do what? Do, but I'll figure Do, out when the time comes. But if you're if you're spending your actual birthday with your mom what what else could you possibly want to do? Your mom is like the only person you spend time with, bestie. It's not like you have a plethora of friends in Oklahoma unless there's something you're not telling us. Already today. Like I guess what she probably means, her friend, her little friend, the buzz ball, <laughs> the multiple buzz balls. That's probably what she truly means in terms of like, she needs to sit by herself in a closet at home to do that, to really celebrate her birthday. And she can't do that with her mom. Like I've only been awake for a few hours and I've gotten so many birthday wishes from you guys. So oh thank my you God. so much. You're welcome. It's greatly appreciated. Okay you guys, so I forgot to tell you guys this. As you guys know, I have huh. been looking for the Third eyelash perfume, which just recently came out. Eyelash had... perfume? Oh, <laughs> Billy Eilish. <laughs> I really thought 
which is funny because I do sometimes call Billie Eilish Billie Eyelash, but I really thought she said eyelash. My dumb ass. That's on me, not her. I should have known she was talking about Billie Eilish. Add eyelash number one since it came out. Uh huh. Eyelash number two, my ex got me. Uh huh. Eyelash number three. My mom got it for, oh, me for Christmas, and I forgot thanks to show you guys. God, Mama Len is enabling her perfume addiction. I also, this is unrelated to perfume, but we need to have a conversation about Amber Lynn wearing accessories that are meant to be worn outside, inside. Like, why is she currently wearing this jacket? So many videos in the past month or two, she's also been wearing sunglasses inside. What is that about? <laughs> what is that about? I, I, I need it to be studied. Somebody should do a thesis on it. Comes in this beautiful red box. Okay. I'm so freaking excited. <gasps> you guys. You guys. They just keep getting more beautiful. Like it's, that is so stunning. It's, it's the same container, just a different color. Both of the other two looked exactly like that, just in different colors. What do you mean? Oh, it smells so good. It has like a pepper smell. I don't really know. I'm, I'm bad no. at describing perfume. No. Lie to also, you, this no disrespect to Billie Eilish, because I did. I did see her perform um, this summer at Lollapalooza. She's a very talented girly pop. Um, so no disrespect to her. But she's not somebody that I look at and I'm like... I bet she smells nice. I want to smell like her. Like, let me get her her perfume. She does occasionally, but like in general, her vibe is not like, oh, that girly smells good. I'm not saying she necessarily smells bad either, I guess. I'm just saying when I look at her, you know, fragrance is just not even the first thing that enters my mind, period. You know, like I look at her and I'm like, oh, talented, stunning musician, I, but I'm never thinking about what she smells like, you know? Which isn't to say that I don't think that about other musicians. Like, Ariana Grande, she has scents. She has a perfume. And when I look at her, I, I would think, like, oh, she probably smells good. And I don't know what that's about. Maybe that says more about me than it does Billie Eilish or Ariana Grande. But it's just a thought I had. This one is my favorite of the three, hands down. I'm trying to like find the notes for you guys. Mm. So I'm like a professional, like yeah, please. perfume tryer tester on Yeah, the person, I would love. But I'm not, so I can't find the notes, but <laughs> this one. And anything that requires her to do more than like two seconds of reading, I'm sure it says on that box somewhere, but she barely looked at it. It's more, it's giving a little bit more masculine compared to the yes, other three. love, that is like, my favorite kind of set. in my opinion, very vanilla-like. The second okay. one is kind of like, you're a hippie, but you're also a grandma. I love all three of them, obviously. Oh my God. My collection. And <laughs> you know, that's exactly what I've always wanted to smell like. A hippie, but giving grandma. Okay, that is probably my vibe. That, that really takes me back to old Omna saying I look like a frail yet slightly overweight elderly lesbian. I need that perfume. I need the one that makes you smell like a hippie, but a grandma. When there's a fourth one, Tote's gonna have it. I think her fourth one should be like, this, a deep blue color. This is like empty. <laughs> I really want, oh, there we go. All right, I just, my lips are so dry right now, you guys. It's just my opinion, we'll see. All right, next day, no longer her birthday. Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm addicted to the Sonic diet, cherry limeade situation. Okay. Right, on the website it says it's diet. It doesn't taste very diet. This is the <laughs> third time I've got it. <laughs> In like a week. I got on a medium two uh -huh. times, but this time I said your girl's getting a large because I am so addicted. I need, I need the, first of all, that's, I'm pretty sure that's not even a large. I'm pretty sure that's the Route 44 size, which like, go off, girl, because I, that went back when I had easy access to a Sonic, particularly when I was an undergrad. I used to go through there because I used to work at the front desk of a um, of a residence hall, and so I'd have to be there for a long time. I'm like, I want something to sip on while I'm just sitting here, and I would go get a Route 44 Diet Coke, and I'd usually try to add a flavoring. But that's my thing. It's like, I don't know, and this is what I need to know from the, the folks that work at the Sonic in the comments. Let me know. But I don't think, 
I would guess they those syrups that they put into into their drinks are not sugar free, right? I would guess they're not sugar free, but I would like for y'all to let me know. So good, and I literally have nothing to drink. I have nothing. You guys think I'm kidding? Let's I, look. Are you guys ready I for a fridge tour? I don't need a fridge tour in 2024. I want this camera to be so the fuck far away from that fridge. I don't want us to be inside the fridge. I don't want to see the Gatorades in the fridge. There's never anything exciting in Amberlynn Reed's fridge. I feel like she's going to open it up. We're going to see a half-eaten thing of chicken rotisserie. Rotisserie chicken. I don't know why I flipped those two words, but I don't, I don't need to see what's in here. You're about to be shocked. Oh, oh, a buzz ball. Have... You do have a drink in there. You got the buzz balls. You, it looks like you got some mayo, some mustard, some butter, some eggs, a buzz ball, and a package of tuna. Wow, girly pop. It's just wild when she shows us this completely empty, because I'm like, what are you eating then? What are you eating? You're eating out. You're getting takeout. <laughs> or you're eating with your you're with your mom somewhere. You're clearly not eating at home because this is not the fridge. Even if you need if you're at a place where you need groceries and stuff like that, usually if you're somebody who's actively eating at your home and you're in your home, um, you're gonna have more food than this. A buzz ball. This is That's wild. That's really it. That's my fridge. We have some tuna. Let's get some, some groceries, eggs, girl. Some butter. Some mustard. Some mayonnaise, uh -huh. sriracha, all of those. Thank, thank you for the thank you for the condiment tour. I didn't need it, but thank you. Where else it may be, and then here in the freezer, we have like an English muffin type deal, uh -huh. some meatballs, some like cauliflower pots, <laughs> salmon, like. Wild. Nothing really. Wild. Really need to go it's also wild to me that she's like, I have nothing to drink in the home. It, it, it really speaks to me that she's really only ever eat, drinking things that come in a bottle that she can put in her fridge or a can that she can put in her fridge. I get, I get that she doesn't want to drink tap water. I get that. All right, let's invest in a, in a Brita filter for you, okay? Because there's no reason you shouldn't just be drinking water. <laughs> There's no reason. Grocery shopping, which will be happening soon. I'm, I'll give it a few days. I've been literally uh, just like. Did she say give it a few days for me to go grocery shopping? What are you going to eat in the meantime, between time, girly pop? Ordering most of my food, I'll order about one to two times a day. I know it's not oh, good. Oh, wow. I know. I've known this. <laughs> but come 2024, January 1st. Uh huh. I'm getting back on track. Oh, but are I we? I actually wanted to talk a little bit about like my goals for 2024. She I have, said like, personal ones. I'm not gonna she share said online. right now I'm going through a lot regarding all of this stuff about Casey resurfacing and coming back up when I thought we had moved past that. And so right now, what ordering takeout is just what works for me and my family. But come January 1st, I'm prepared to shift the narrative back to my weight, even though I did also just say in a video that my channel will never be a weight loss channel. It's just a vlogging channel that occasionally talks about weight. So we're doing great. We're doing great. Cool, cool. Obviously. Um, but I have those written in my journal for sure. But there are some that I would like to share with you guys. All right. So the first Let's one, go. I'm actually going to try my freaking damnedest. Wait, so I want to go back to what she just said because I think it's important. I think it's important and I'll tell you why after we listen to her say it. I actually wanted to talk a little bit about like my goals for 2024. Uh -huh. I have a lot of like personal ones that I'm not going to share online, okay. obviously. That part. Um, but I have Keep those written here. in my journal for sure. But there are some that I would like to share with you guys. So the first one, I'm actually going to try my freaking damnedest starting January 1st to upload every other day again. Okay. It is ultimately my favorite YouTube schedule. Let's I love go. It. So yeah, January 1st. Um, and then January 3rd, and then January 5th, so on and so forth. Work. So I'm okay. also going to okay. win every single day in 2024. I know a lot of people are like rolling their eyes, which is totally mm -hmm. fine. But for me, when I'm weighing myself... I'm, okay, so this is, this is, <laughs> this is why I want to go back. I didn't want to immediately pause again. First of all, thrilled to hear that she's going to try to go back to every other day. Hope she sticks to that. Second of all, though... 
she she talked about how she has some personal goals for 2024 written down in her journal plan or whatever it was that she said but she's got some that she's okay with sharing with us and then of course one of the well one's related to youtube i think that that would make sense great and then of course one is about weight loss and it just takes me to what I was just saying about how she was talking about how she, you know, is it a weight loss channel, okay? And how, you know, she's just vlogging her life and her life sometimes happens to be about weight loss. So far, she's given us a goal for YouTube, which makes sense, and a goal about weight loss. I'm curious if there's, outside of those two things, anything else that's not going to be about weight loss. I hope that's the case, because otherwise, how are you going to come on and, and your goals be related to weight loss, but you're not a weight loss channel, but then you keep the stuff about your life that you are allegedly vlogging, you're vlogging your life, and you keep that stuff a secret, you know? If, if, if you're really a vlogging channel that just happens to be doing weight loss. But you know what? I haven't even let her finish yet. That was just a thought that I had in my brain and I need to get out. So hopefully she gives us more non-weight loss related goals. You know what I'm saying? Frequently I'm paying more attention to my weight and the things that I'm eating. And that means I've carried more. But what the scale says, I'm carrying okay. more about my health, etc. The last few months I've only stepped on the scale a few times. And that just really goes to show like my mental headspace towards like weight loss and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I really want to make a point to weigh myself every single day. And my goal is to share my daily weigh-ins with you guys. <laughs> yes, 365 okay. of them. Unless Three. 2024 is Three. a leap year. Is it? <laughs> well, to answer your question, yes. Yes, it is. Uh, I must have known that. To answer my question, that was your own question. Don't put that on me, bestie. <laughs> Don't put that on me. Don't put that on me whatsoever. Could I have said that? I think I just knew that subconsciously. Oh, so another so goal smart. is I'm gonna be getting a therapist. I'm okay, work. January. If not January. Work, January. work. Okay, good. Look at you. You're already meeting my goals for 2024, which is to be proven wrong by Amber Lynn Reed. Yes, let's get a fucking therapist. Let's let's be here for goals that aren't related to your weight. Although I do think that's like weight adjacent because I do think she would struggle less with her weight if she would like talk about and process the things related to her mental health with her therapist. But, okay, work! You need therapy! Absolutely! We all need therapy, just for the record. That's not shade towards Amberlynn, but Amberlynn does particularly need it, you know? But it needs to happen, and it needs to happen soon. Another goal I have is to work on my poetry book. So oh. I really, really <laughs> want to publish a poetry book for you guys. Oh. I know that's wild. I know that's crazy. <laughs> I've actually already started working Let's on go. it. Let's um, go. It's a lot of hard work because I notice it, like, bubbling up a lot of different emotions. I have cried a lot. We'll go to therapy. A lot of emotions go in. And, and said, listen, girls will write a whole ass poetry book and refuse to go to therapy. Go to therapy! And then we can publish this poetry book. If she publishes a poetry book... I hate to tell tell y'all, but I'll probably read it. Maybe I can find some bootleg version of it, so I don't actually have to buy it. But I do think it's my due diligence if she ever does publish that in real time um, to to let you all know my thoughts and a review of it. Poetry, they all mean something to me, so it's been kind of hard, but it's something I really, really want to do and work on. So obviously, another goal is my lifestyle change, which I will talk more about that in the my, year. Another goal is my, I simply want to- My lifestyle, that is such a vague ass goal. Another goal, obviously, is my lifestyle change. What does that mean? <laughs> How are you going to measure the success of if you've met that goal? If you worked in higher ed, or if you ever were in higher ed, you were an RA or something, then we always talked about these SMART goals, and SMART stood for like, I don't know, it needs to be specific, measurable, um, attainable, I don't even remember all of them, but I always remember measurable and specific, right? Because you don't want just some vague thing that you're never going to be able to like reach and attain, and you have to be able to measure it. There has to be some kind of thing you can measure to determine if you're successful, and that sounds like not a very smart goal. Continue my daily journaling. I feel like journaling is really important to me. Okay. A lot of the times, like, I'm feeling certain emotions or I'm upset about something, and it's like, I don't really understand, like, where is this coming from, but the minute I start journaling, 
plan, I'm like, oh, we're getting answers. Okay. From the last bowl. Okay, the also thing. therapy. But <laughs> I'm just so excited that she even mentioned a therapist because she, she needs one. She's out here talking about all these new mental health diagnoses and things like that. And she's doing nothing with those diagnoses. She's doing nothing to work on herself. That I want to share with you guys is that I want to lose 100 pounds in 2024. <laughs> At least 100 pounds. But 100 is my goal. It's very doable. It's very possible. And if I do that, then... Won't he do it? It'll put me at, like, the lowest weight I've been in, like, I don't know, almost a decade. I just feel like I've had enough time to kind of adjust living on my own. I've been very much using uh -huh. my adjustment period as an excuse to not, like, get on track. It's like I can only use that excuse for so long. So I feel like now it's going to be time for me to focus more on my physical health, my mental health, uh -huh. all the healthy things. Sure. And... I feel like during this adjustment period, I have grown to love myself a lot. I care about okay. myself more than I ever have, ever in my life. Ever. So like, <laughs> I love how she said that, ever. I feel like during this adjustment period, I have grown to love myself a lot. I care about myself more than I ever have ever in my life so it's like Ooh. let's do something about it so those are some of my goals I'm not all right my final assessment on the goals is uh i would say i think like half of them were weight related i would say i would say half of them were weight related and then i would say the majority are like in general health related with like the exception of the poetry book and and the youtube goal of posting every other day and maybe also the goal of um, of the journaling thing, but I th I think that she she prefaced the journaling thing in a mental health related way, so I would I would still throw that into the health related concepts and goals that she has. So I don't know is she is she a weight loss channel? No, she's clearly a vlogging channel that occasionally talks about her weight, even though she's gonna weigh herself every day and share every single weigh in with us. Allegedly, I will say I told you all at the beginning of this video two years ago she started off saying that she's gonna do a hundred days of weighing in. So we'll I'll see it when I believe it. I'll believe it when I see it. I don't know why I always mess that up. Also I think Miss Judy she's she's making little growly noises so I'm gonna let her leave <laughs> leave the room. I'm gonna really call them resolutions because that word is so overplayed. But if you want you guys can always me on Instagram. Let me know some of your guys' goals and we can all just support each other. I, listen, I I think that that's like, she's not, that's a very also honestly cliche thing to say. I think that's what she's trying to say is that like resolutions are cliche and things like that. But it's also so cliche to say like, oh, I'm not going to use the word resolutions because that's just like, oh, so overdone, overplayed. Essentially what you're talking about here is a resolution. <laughs> Actually, that's that's what it is. You're still setting goals for the the year. I'm pretty sure goal is a synonym for resolution, bestie. All right, let's see. Next well, day. Well, good morning. It is the next day. I'm actually going to my grandma's today. I'm not sure what else. All right, Grandma Lynn. I'm be playing like some more games and just having a good time. It's kind of just like to celebrate my birthday. But I'm actually going to get ready. So that's so that's what she meant by Saturday is going to be the day she's actually celebrating. She's going to grandma's house to play board games, which honestly, iconic. Love a board game. I'm done. Okay, so I am ready for the day. You guys, I keep this open because I'm afraid <laughs> the boogeyman is behind it, but I also uh -huh. don't like the way it looks when it's open. So it's like, it's bittersweet, but I'm going to close it now. Like, do you guys ever have that? Where it's like, <laughs> It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. I love, I love that use of the word bittersweet. Bittersweet talking about whether or not the shower curtain is open. But yes, the the hard, conflicting decision on whether or not to leave the the shower curtain open. So bittersweet. Man back there is Pennywise chilling back there. We don't know. Like, I'm gonna do a reenactment of a oh, literal situation not. that happens more times than it should. Let's not. Do -do -do, gotta go pee. <gasps> oh my god, wait. What if. <sighs> you guys don't even know. It's the anxiety. So, this is a simple outfit of the day. <laughs> 
I, I get the the fear of someone being somewhere you're not expecting it. I recently had this experience because I famously can drive and when I rented this car, the day I drove back to Chicago, I woke up pretty early in the morning to start that drive and when I went out to start loading up the car with like my stuff and the things for the dogs and this, that, the other, I was like, oh my God, what if there's somebody in the backseat of this car? Like, what if somebody crawled into the backseat of this car overnight and there's somebody back there? I get that feeling or like, I, I feel like I understand the feeling of someone being behind the shower. The, the part that's gooping and gagging me and <laughs> making me laugh over here. What do y'all know about getting gooped and gagged? But um, the, <laughs> the part that's gooping and gagging me is this cringe reenactment. I love it. Never change. Please do 12 more of them because that was so uncomfy. And I live. I'm wearing my Barbie cardigan, which I love. So I was on the Torrid.com and I was like, your girl has not shopped for Torrid in so long. Uh -huh. And I saw the cutest Barbie sweater, but they didn't have my size. Oh, that's too so bad. Large. Literally not surprised. So that sucks. But that's too um, bad. There are some other things that they have that I'm like, okay, your girl's gonna get that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the board games. I'm <laughs> yes. Tor Torrid Hall incoming. Let's fucking go. It's been so long. Amber blowing. Oh. Amber's okay. blowing. <laughs> okay, happy birthday, Amber Lynn. I don't want to, like, spit on it. Why are there only three candles? <laughs> is it is it three candles for 33? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you so cute, Amber? Thank you. Happy birthday. Right? Yes. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> There's $33 in there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want to pop it. Thank you. Wow. Oh, that's right. Okay, you guys. Cheers, cheers. We have to have a cheers. We have to have a cheers. Got them balloons. A I'm cheers of what? What are we cheering? <laughs> what are we cheering? Also, what am I looking at? Oh, those are just the balloons and the top of Mama Lynn's car. Obsessed. Oh my God. I really love the, I, this is where I'm also talking about cinematography Lynn, right? Like she included two seconds of that like pre-packaged charcuterie board and them saying, we got a cheers, and leaving all kinds of questions. It's that mystery. It's the unraveling of the puzzle that I have to figure out. That I have to, like, come get my magnifying glass and be like, what are they talking about? Why was this two-second clip included? It's it's cinematography. It's storytelling. Gosh. <laughs> Aren't they cute? They're cute. Are they? <laughs> Pink <Pete Lou. laughs> <No. laughs> that my mom got me. I thought this was the sweetest thing. It's so I've always sweet. balloons with numbers and she surprised me. She it's giving, no. it's giving, what do you mean you've always wanted to? Didn't they have balloons like that for that famous Destiny 21st birthday photo shoot? Do you know what, what I'm talking about? Cause literally, I mean, I know it was Destiny's birthday and not April Lynn's, but literally Destiny was posing with them. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Surely you do, surely you do. Like that, but it's like the best color ever. Like I'm just like Amberlyn. You'll never be Destiny. You'll never be the Destiny 21st birthday photo shoot. You just won't. Oh, okay. Floating to the top, and then because I turned 33, she put $33. Oh my god. In this clear balloon I icon. But also, what is $33, to Amberlyn Reed? Amberlyn Reed. That's like one one DoorDash meal, you know. But okay, I did just get home and we did go to Target. That's what that sunglasses clip was. Okay. I have trash I have to take out, so don't mind that. First of all, pink trash bags, kind of slay. <laughs> kind of slay to have your trash bags be pink. But also, surely all that trash is just takeout containers, right? Because we saw what the fuck was in her fridge. That was nothing. She said, I'd rather use my stove to store my trash bags full of takeout than I would to cook food. 
of here. Yeah, my mom came up to me with the um, heart-shaped sunglasses. She was like, look at what I found, they're so cute. And I was like, mom, you're never gonna believe the one thing that I have in my Amazon cart right now is literally those heart-shaped sunglasses. Uh, she's probably, try them on. She was, it's probably not literally those heart-shaped sunglasses because I doubt they'd be selling them at Target if they're available on Amazon like that. We should have matching ones. It was just a really cute moment that like, we both were like picking the same sunglasses. I don't know, it's just a cute moment. It's so, so cute. Target, I got some dog food, cat food, and then I got this, it's like a monthly calendar oh, where stunning. I just flip the page. I figured I could use this for my daily weigh-ins <laughs> so I can have them like in physical form. <laughs> so it would not be a new fucking year without having some kind of calendar, planner, whoever, whatever, to sit here and fucking log our daily weigh-ins. God bless America, we don't deserve this greatness. <laughs> like, this is so stupid. It's, it's literally, like, was it last year? Didn't we, I would have to fact check this because I didn't look at this, but was it last year also the beginning of that fucking bullet journal we never saw again, where she went through and made this bullet journal for weigh-ins and 12 other hundred stupid things? I think she had, like, a poop chart. Or was that just, like, my little parody, my bullet journal parody? That that might have been my parody to make the poop chart. But <laughs> either way, that could come in handy. Maybe I should show that to Chantal. But either way. <laughs> Wild. Any napkins, but I saw these really cute napkins and I had to get them. It's some cherries that are shaped like hearts. Okay. And then I got this red one, which is like lines and stripes and hearts and cuteness. So cute. And some of these are adorable. I got some pine salt so I can use my new mop. So I have been asked before, Amberlynn, which It's been days since she's got that mop. Have you not used it yet? <laughs> have you not used it yet? Smell pine salt and a little extra vapor rub. I don't know what it is, but those two smells. I could eat them. So I got my friend, Let's my not. very, very best friend in the whole world. I got them a coastal wind and lavender candle. Okay. Personally, is, I think it's smells- Is the very best friend in the whole world in the room with us right now? <laughs> Is the, is the best friend in the whole wide world, at least in the state of Oklahoma, with us right now? Really, really, really good. I got a 2024 planner. And oh, thank I God. This planner. We, got, we got a calendar and a planner all in one video. God bless. God bless America. Like, each one has, like, a goal section and then, like, uh, a little collage on each month. And then, uh -huh. like, each month talks about something. So this one would be, like, Happy New Year, and February is Black History Month. And then we have March, What's in the Stars, and April, Environmental Awareness, May, Prioritize Self-Care. Like, the list goes on. I just thought this was super unique. And there's just, like, uh -huh. questions every month to get you thinking and learning. Uh -huh. So I love that. Last but not least, because I am a hoop girly, and you can never have too many hoops, I got some silver hoops and some gold hoops. So that is everything. That is my Target haul. Oh, you guys, I genuinely had such an amazing day today with my grandma, my mom, and my grandma's best friend was actually there as well. Okay. It was just like a wonderful time. Like to be able to spend my birthday with my family is a whole other level of just like joy for me. Good. Especially the whole day is literally filled with just laughter. Like laughing so hard that it like hurts your stomach and like you can't even catch your breath like that just feels well, so good we, sh me. we should be concerned that you can't catch your breath girl <laughs> you gotta stay breathing you gotta stay breathing amberlynn i hope that everyone had a happy holiday a happy new year's eve and now it's the new year i hope that everyone is successful in their goals mm -hmm. this year and i hope 2024 is great mm -hmm. for everybody mm -hmm. and just every day just remember to be a little bit kinder and mm. I just think the world would be a lot more peaceful. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Okay. Bye. Well, that's an interesting, <laughs> an interesting thing for you to say. How how are you working on being a little bit more kinder every day? I would like to know. <laughs> Anyways, happy birthday, Amberlynn Reed. Um, and happy new year to everybody else. I am excited to see what the year brings. I look forward to uh, spending more time with you all. So... <laughs> Welcome, welcome into the new year. I'm glad to have you here. 
and I can't wait to see what else we get. And that was a stunning return to form for Amber Lynn Reed. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did and you're brand new, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get notifications. I'm really bad at reminding people that I have a Twitch re-upload channel, so if you can't catch me live on Twitch, you can always catch the reactions that I do on that channel. It's called Zachary Michael also. Make sure to leave me a comment here. Click like, click share, follow me on all my other social media, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!